this video, we're going to be talking about how to get the Brave Browser on Linux. So if you don't know about the Brave Browser, it's a new tool, it's a new project. As you can see, I'm using Firefox right now, but we'll be getting Brave soon. And uh, the Brave Browser, it's a new kind of browser, and the concept of the browser is that it blocks all of your advertisements that you see on the internet and all of the it blocks all the advertisements that you'll see. It blocks all of the the trackers and the privacy violation stuff. And according to their website, it'll load things a lot faster. They, they don't actually talk about Firefox at all, but compared to Chrome, apparently it's a lot faster. And the concept is you save some money because you're not spending as much time loading stuff uh, you know, in terms of bandwidth, but it also has the ability to pay publishers, which is actually pretty interesting. So they have this thing called Brave Payments, and what the concept of it is, how much do I use on websites per day, and uh, how can I anonymously donate to, you know, whatever website, because I'm blocking their ads, how do I contribute back to the website? So if you were to go to addictivetips.com every day, which you should do because we have lots of great articles. And uh, you use the Brave browser and you had Brave payments, you'd be able to send anonymous donations and you wouldn't be able to feel guilty if you're blocking ads. Now that said, uh, advertisement stuff is a, is a dicey subject and uh, that's not a debate I wanna get into right now. I'm just talking about the technical merits. So this is a good browser if you need to focus a lot on privacy, but you also wanna give back in your own way. So to get this on Linux, there are different ways and uh, you can download the binary right here. Uh, it has a lot of information on how to get it working for Linux. There are RPMs, there are Debian stuff. The universal way to get the Brave browser on your Linux system, no matter the operating system, is to install it via Snap. So to do that, please make sure you watch our video about getting Snap packages working. Just go to our channel, it should be right there. You can also just search for that elsewhere but once you've seen that video you'll know that snap packages can be easily installed with snap find and then the package name or snap info and the package name to get the brave browser installed because it is in the snap store all you would do is do sudo snap install brave if you want the latest updates you can do dash dash beta if you want it to stay stable just go with this command. Once you do that, it will download the app directly from the Snap Store and it will install it and get it going. And uh, when it's installed, I will show you the mount so that you understand exactly how this app is, is, is installing itself. All right, so as we can see, Brave is installed via the Snap Store. And uh, as I said, it's right there. It's, it's, it's uh, I said I would show you how it's mounted. This is how the Brave app installs and how it works with the Snap system. So let's go ahead and launch it. So to launch Brave, even though it's a Snap, you can still see it in the, you know, the applications like normal. If I go to internet here, we can see the browser is right there. Like I'm using uh, Arch Linux and I'm using Cinnamon, so it's gonna show up under in this menu. If you're using GNOME, if you're using Unity, whatever, it'll be different. All you need to know is to look through the internet section or to search for the keyword Brave. Once you open that, you open the snap up, everything will look like this. You can click the use Brave if you wanna make it the default. And you can go through and uh, check out the browser. It's a very, very fast browser. Let's, let's test a, a loading quick. To do a proper test, I should set up this side by side. I'm going to go to addictivetips.com. And this one loads pretty fast. Now let's try over here. Much faster. So take that with what you will. There's also lots of privacy settings 
and uh, that is that, guys. Uh, that's how to get the Brave Browser. Thank you.